that top, it really does have a lot of figure in it. Trying to match that figure by putting the edge all the way around it is near and impossible. So what I'm going to do is just use the same timber that I did the body of the pencil case in. That way it should all come together quite nicely. So back to the original veneer the box was made out of. And it's about half an inch or 12 mil. So I've cut about 5 8 16 mil, 16 mil strips and I want three of them. Well in this case, not two will do. So there are the two strips to go along the sides. And I want one more piece to go over the nose. And for that, I'll make quite a large piece. And you'll see why very shortly. So now we've got the lid, two long pieces, and one to go over the nose. I'm going to use contact cement with this because I want it to go off really quick and it's too hard to try and work out a clamping procedure on such a small job. The first one I do is the nose. And because we've got the long grain going this way, that's how I want the nose to look as well. And we're gonna wrap this over the nose like that. Let's wait for that to tack off. You might wonder why I put glue all over this piece. The reason being, I don't know where it's going to actually touch the face of the front of the box slide. So I'd much prefer to have that totally covered in contact and then the contact area of the slide is just the part that we actually wanted to go on. All right, let's place it over there. Sort of centralise it so by eye, the centre of the lid is the centre of this piece of veneer and have a fair amount hanging over the end as well. Check at the back to make sure you've got a good seal all the way around there. Just push it down nice and hard. And right into the corners on both sides. And have a look up there to make sure you've got good contact with the mitre all the way around. What I'm going to do now is just trim this off and that will relieve extra stress that's being placed on the lid. So it reduces the chances of it pulling away. Three main pressure points on this is to get a good seal on the end here and also these parts that wrap around actually stop on the long sections here and here. So when we glue these on, we can actually cut them in to these pieces that are wrapped round and we'll get a really nice good seal. This should be dry now. We'll get the body out of the clamps. So I've got a continuity of this veneer Got to very, very carefully slice on the inside lines here and up inside here. Now you want to be as accurate as you can to get that cut right into the corner. So this piece that I've just cut off, it can now be glued onto this piece here. Put that to one side, do the same to this side. Now just carefully cut along this edge here. You've really got to have a sharp knife when you do this. And strokes, not just one cut. If it takes 15 strokes, it'll take 15 strokes. Now as before, before I put this one back on, I'm just going to run it over the sanding board so it's all nice and flat on both sides. So now that's nice and flat on the sides, I can glue those other pieces on. Here's the same cords as before. And when you're doing this, 
remember to make sure you get the right side on the bottom so it actually lines up. Line up the edge so it's right on the edge there and along the bottom as well. And pop it in the clamps. While that's drying, we'll put these side strips on the sliding lid. Now what I'll do first is cut an angle here that follows this angle. So there's no specifics with the angle at all. It's just whatever angle you want to do. Um, we go from there to there. So I'll draw a rough angle like that. There's absolutely no absolutes with it. It's just so you can nearly match them. So when this actually glues onto here, you'll see the grain direction there is roughly at the same angle. And it gives it a nice sort of blending effect. Do the other side. For that, we swip it around. This goes here, and this goes here, like that. If you like at this stage, you can get rid of more of this because it should be pretty well glued on. Hey, who would have thought you could cut timber with scissors? Well, there you go. Grab the glue pot, and I'll glue up to that front cover, but not over it. Very thin line of glue down the side. Glue these strips as far as they need to go. And at the moment, I've purposely left these a lot longer than I need. And the reason for that is, if I mess something up here, or something breaks, I can just move it along a bit, and we still got a lot to play with. Do the other one. If you place it on there, but get this pointed bit, get this pointed bit here to actually cover that front part. like so and then <clears throat> what you can do if you're happy with that cut the excess off the back a little bit of an overhang and where this section comes in contact with the front get your knife and just follow this edge all the way along that front section until you've cut through Peel this back gently. Take this front section off that you've glued on. And then just push it into place so it marries up. But when it's dry, we'll sand it all flush and won't even look as if there's a join there.